never. Never seen the moon do like hey, yo, I never. Never seen the waterfalls like this. I never. Never seen the lights up like this. I never. Rapper Rick Ross was attacked after performing at a music festival in Vancouver, Canada. After his performance, at about around 10.30 p.m., Rick Ross stepped off the stage into a crowded area and got into a heated argument with some of the fans over him playing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us track. It's alleged that about 15 dudes approached Rick and formed a human wall so him and his crew couldn't move around them, basically blocking the way. The video was obtained by TMZ, and it shows the verbal confrontation between the two parties. When the exchange got a little heated and began to escalate, you could see one of the Vancouver fans swing and punch Rick Ross. And after that, a whole melee of scrapping broke out between the two groups. One of Rick Ross's people was getting dog walked by a couple of guys. They was punching him up, kicking him. They had him. But after it all was said and done, they got out of there pretty much with no serious injuries. But in all this, it just goes to show in my humble pie that even with the older rappers and they're not like the g older rappers but even with the mid-age rappers like your rick rosses they're seeming to me like they're taking on the little ninja's attitude to a sense because now the disrespect is getting violence added to it because you know him and Champagne Poppy, Drake, they kind of go back and forth. But now you come to Canada and you play the Not Like Us. Dumb move. In my humbleness, that's a dumb move. Basically, I think he thought he was going to get away with it. Boop, I'm going to play the Not Like Us. These Canadians ain't going to do nothing to me and I'm out of here. And I'm going to throw it up on the Instagram and it's going to be a shot to Drake. But you got to understand, Drake is a big superstar. And especially in Canada, he's the biggest thing in Canada that they have as far as in the hip-hop world. So they wasn't going to let it happen. But then on the flip side of that coin, guess what? Ah, it makes it a little sticky for Drake. Now, Drake comes out and goes to Miami Florida, Rick Ross to Homeland, does the show. Fans do the same thing. And now, look, they rush the stage on Drake. See, and it gets back and forth. See, but the thing is this. Yeah, it's the artists, but it's not more of the artists than their entourage and then the fans. See, their entourage is the ones who do the most stuff. And so do their fans. They just go back and forth on internets, you know, Rick Ross and Drake or whoever and whoever, Kendrick and Drake, they gonna show they gonna throw shots on the records because we still trying to eat. They still gonna get that money. But on the flip side of it, we know the new little younger rappers, they actually wanna do some of the dirt. But even in their case, most of them are just gonna show just gonna throw social media shots they're not going to do too much physical maybe sometime we get a case or two where the rapper and the other rapper actually did something physical to each other but for the most part it's either somebody that's a part of your entourage and definitely the fans because fans turn into man worshipers and that's case in point here and like I say, it's going to be kind of interesting to see if Drake ever leaves out of Canada. Because, you know, we heard Kendrick say it, that show in the Bay Area going to be your last stop because you dis Pac. And I'm paraphrasing. And now this happens with Rick Ross. 
So now here's another place that might be Drake's last stop, which is the Florida area. So we got to watch out for that stuff too. You know, at the same time, two wrongs make destruction. You know, back and forth on the internet, then Rick Ross. Oh, I'm about to go hard on it now. See, because people get too carried away with the social media. And in my humble pie, that's what Rick Ross did. He got carried away with the social media. Thought nothing was going to happen to him. But it happened to him. They was on his, on his bumper. He, you see, he had to get out of there. And what did uh, uh, Drake do? Went to the video. Basically, people calling it. Oh, yeah, Drake responded to what happened. No, he liked the clip that he saw of Rick Ross and his buddies getting attacked. So, Rick Ross, he's basically, in my opinion, he's playing it easy. Like, nah, it's no big deal. Uh, I still love uh, Vancouver. You know what I'm saying? So... He's he's basically throwing it off like, no, nah, I ain't mad. But in actuality, he would be a little butthurt. But still, at the end of the day, people, like I say, the fans are the ones that these entertainers have to worry more about. Because the fans are the ones who take it more personal than the entertainers. The entertainers, for the most part, is just back and forth disrespect. Nothing too much happens when they see each other other than they might not shake each other's hand or whatnot. But for the fans and the entourages, those are the most dangerous ones. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south, unite from every alley in Cali. In the section in back street, subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. Star child, I never